The trauma of being in forced marriages filled with a series of violent abuses is one which oftentimes uh, contributes to broken homes and failed matrimonies. A 2021 report by Save the Children International revealed that about 78% uh, of girls in northern Nigeria are victims of forced child marriage. 26-year-old Amina Zakari, a survivor of uh, SGBV in Kano State, narrates a horrific experience in a forced marriage filled with abuses for eight years. Uh, correspondent Stephen Enoch has more in this report. Till date, Amina is hurt by her family's decision to forcefully marry her off to a man she never wanted. Aside the multiple sexual violence she had to grapple with in her eight-year-old marriage, the matrimony may have shattered her hopes of attaining a university degree. Irrespective of the fact that her family knew about this series of abuses, they insisted she remained in the marriage. My mother is late. And I've been living with my extended family who forced me to marry a man I didn't love when I was 18 years old. Because I was threatened to either marry him or leave the house, I had no option than to agree to the first marriage. We have been in the marriage for eight years and throughout this period, we always had issues and he always beats me up mercilessly. I remember a day he beat me so badly that I had several injuries in my body. Then, I was four months pregnant. After visiting the hospital for treatment, I was told that I had lost the baby. This made me feel so bitter to the point that I had to run to my father because I couldn't bear it anymore. But my extended family still forced me back to my husband's house. My husband told them that I had a spiritual problem, which is why we always had issues in the marriage. When she couldn't take the ill treatment any longer, she gave in to thoughts of suicide. Amina wants a divorce, but her husband and extended family members are opposed to it. On a certain night, when I was temporarily staying at my father's house, my husband and the other extended family lied to my dad that another man was trying to steal me from my husband, which is why I want a divorce and ran away. These allegations made me bitter, and when I told them I will kill myself if they don't let me be, they told me to go ahead. Days later, I tried to commit suicide, but someone caught me and afterwards, I reached out to the Kano State Human Rights Commission to intervene in my situation. Shehu Abdullahi, the Kano State Coordinator of the National Human Rights Office, says Amina's family will be engaged and the marriage will be dissolved since there is a threat to life. We call all the parties involved, uh, including the, 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 the respondent, that is the husband, then the family. If they have parents, we call the parents and uh, discuss it uh, amicably if they agreed or they resolved, we resolved it at our level so that uh, the marriage can be dissolved and uh, uh, deal with accordingly. But if it couldn't, we refer the case to court for the decision and mostly the cases we refer the court, the court will decide in the favor of the victim. The Federation of Muslim Women Associations in Nigeria recently trained journalists in Kano on issues relating to sexual and gender-based violence and experiences like Halima's. Muhammad Abu Bakr, the Demil officer at Form 1, says religious and traditional leaders have a role to play in LGBV cases. For community leaders, you know, uh, they have uh, this uh, territory or they have the structure, you know, in engaging with uh, other people from the community. So through, you know, their offices, or let me say exalted offices, you know, they receive some of these complaints which they manage. But now we're trying to tell them that some of these issues, they can't manage it. Even the religious leaders, we're trying to say that are already established government institutions that, you know, are taking care of some of this issue. So when they receive some of these cases, it's good, you know, they channel it to the appropriate authorities so that uh, they are the ones in charge, they are the ones that knows how they can mitigate some of this issue. The way forward is more awareness, uh, more sensitization, more training for people in understanding uh, what is expected when an issue like this happens, either in their community or any working place. As Amina seeks an end to her eight-year-old abusive marriage, she hopes to pick up the pieces of her life by starting afresh. Stephen Enoch. Plus TV News, Kano. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.